welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit that bell button and subscribe. Obviously, if you're here, you're at the title, so let's get into it. So today, I'm going to give you the magic tips on how to write those secondaries fast, okay? To put things in perspective, I wrote 80 secondaries for 17 schools on the day of receipt, or the day I became aware I was in possession of a secondary, until the day I turned it in. It was about three to four days. So how did I do it? Well, tip numero uno, borrow, borrow, borrow. It is okay to borrow from yourself. All right, recycle, reduce, reuse, recycle, save the earth, okay? Now you can't just copy and paste because every school is different and your essays will sound ridiculous if you just copy and paste. That's not what I'm saying. But use the ideas, use the skeleton. Recycle something you've already written for a project, a scholarship essay. I reuse a lot of scholarship essays um, to help me write my secondaries. Do not recycle your personal statement. It's really ridiculous because they already read those things. Your secondary is supposed to expand upon what you've already told about yourself. You want to paint a bigger picture. Tip number of dose. All right, the second tip, use your resume. And you may say like, my resume, what does that got to do with anything? But I'm telling you, a lot of these secondaries are asking you for experiences. So use your resume or sit down and make a list of all the things that you've done in college, of course, like not in high school, but a list of all the things you've done in college. Have them sitting with you when you write. It might not sound significant, but it will help you so much when they ask for a situational question like, when was a time you had conflict you can look at your resume or look at those lists of experiences and you can say i remember when i was working in the lab xyz happened or oh i remember when i was shadowing so and so and my supervisor said such and such and there was a conflict and this is how i resolved it it helps you just need some type of visual aid to jog your memory sorry i'm waving this pin in your face you just need some type of visual aid to help you along in your process. Hey guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tip numero three, write, 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 write. So that sounds ridiculous, right? What do you mean write? I suffer from writer's block so bad because I have anxiety and fear of failure and everything else that all other pre-meds have. So the best thing for me was to just start writing. I would literally say, I have no idea what to say. This is so stupid. I can't believe I have to write secondaries. Oh my gosh, but I really want to be like, whatever you're thinking, just put it out on the paper, even if it has nothing to do with the secondary essay. And the more you just start typing, the easier it will be to get it all out. Tip number four. This is the most important tip, I think. Grind it out. What do I mean by that? When I tell you I woke up in the morning, I went to work and then I wrote. I wrote all day, right, 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 right. Because you just gotta get it done. You just gotta get it done. And not saying that if you take so long, you have zero chance of getting into medical school, but we all know sooner is better because the sooner you can get your application in, the less people you're competing with, the quicker the admissions committee people can look at your application. Also, secondary burnout is real. So get it done. The more you procrastinate, the less you're going to want to do it. To review. Tip number one, reduce, reuse, recycle. Reuse old essays from scholarships or English class assignments, personal statements that you did not use on your primary application. Recycle those reduce it so don't just copy and paste take bits and pieces and expound upon them tip number two have 
visual references. So make sure you have something that can jog your memory. Write down experiences, use your resume. Another thing I didn't mention, um, the AAMC has like like practice interview questions. That's really good too. You can look at those practice interview questions because a lot of times they're like situational things and you can say, what was the time I had a conflict with a uh, peer, with a superior? What is the time I feel like I failed? All of those things are important questions that come up in interviews, but they also come up, ow, in interviews, but they also come up in secondary. So it's a good idea to think through answers to those questions, to have a list of all the activities you've done and or your resume to look at when you're writing secondaries to kind of jog your memory. Tip number three, write, 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 write. To get over the anxiety-induced writer's block, just write everything, random stuff that doesn't have anything to do with the secondary, whatever you're thinking, just write, write, write. Tip number four, make this your nine to five. If you can sacrifice one or two weeks of your life, get it done, get them out as fast as you can to get it over with, relieve yourself of stress, and put yourself in a better position to be eligible for interviews. All right, those are my four tips and tricks. They work, I promise, I promise you they work. That's what I did. I got 80 secondaries done and I wrote each secondary in about three to four days. So I hope you all found this helpful. Let me know if these things worked for you in the comments below. Make sure to hit that bell button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>